Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hybrid system coolant on 2010 to 2015 Lexus RX 450H models. To start by opening the hood and removing these uh, four clips to get access to the cover. You just pick them up with a screwdriver, pull them out. Sometimes if you can't get the screwdriver there, you can push it in, but then if you do, just uh, make sure you pop it back out. Otherwise, you won't be able to reinstall it correctly. Take the cover off. And uh, here is your inverter coolant uh, tank for the hybrid system. So open the cap on it, and then we can go ahead and drain it. Remove this shield underneath here. So you've got a bunch of clips holding it on, three on each side. Now remove the six 10 millimeter head bolts. I'm going slow so that I uh, try not to break them, otherwise you have to drill them out. Them broke, which is nice. The hybrid cooling system drain plug is located right there. You can just go ahead and open it and drain it that way, but it will splash and make a mess. So I use a 5 16th uh, hose, put it onto that uh, nipple on the drain, get a suitable container underneath it, and then uh, open this. Uh, drain plug and uh, let all the coolant drain out. Once the coolant stops draining completely, close the drain plug. And remove the hose. Reinstall the lower cover. I'll put the clips in first to hold it in place. Install the bolts, doesn't hurt to spray some lubricant or uh, put anti-seize on them so that they don't rust in place and uh, don't break off when you have to do this next time. Or if you really want to go the extra mile, you can you know, clean up the threads with a tap and 
put a few bolts in there, just depends on the condition. And tighten them to five foot pounds. Install the funnel into the coolant reservoir for the hybrid system and uh, use only a uh, genuine Toyota coolant. Do not ever mix green coolant or yellow coolant or anything like that. Just the pink coolant uh, specifically designed for Toyota and Lexus vehicles. And now you can uh, slowly fill the reservoir until it's full. Okay, now what we're gonna do is uh, start the vehicle and that's gonna turn on the hybrid coolant pump and it's gonna allow it to circulate the coolant and bleed the air out of it. Now you can see the coolant levels going down a bit. So top it up to the full mark again and just uh, wait for it to circulate. Once it stops going down and it remains at a steady level, that means that the cooling system for the hybrid has been bled out. Okay, well, it uh, ran for a little while and uh, I topped it up a little more and uh, it's staying at the full line now so we can shut the engine off. Now you can go ahead and put the reservoir cap on and uh, tighten it until it clicks and stops. Now you can reinstall this cover, line up this uh, tab on it right here with a, with a slot on the cowl. Install the four clips. And that's it. Hybrid uh, system coolant replacement is completed. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.